What's going on, Capricorns? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe for my daily Capricorn readings, and be sure to comment down below. Let me know where you're watching from. Drop your birthday and your sun, moon, rising. Now, today we're doing something a little different because I did say that I was going to go live and do an all signs read. Now, I explained in a post on the community tab, again, if I can subscribe, as to why it is I couldn't go live and do this. And once the platform did an update, I think over a year ago, I've never been able to do a live in the same way. So we're going to do the same thing that I was going to do. I'm going to run through the 12 signs individually with Capricorn, see what's going on with each, starting with Aries, ending with Pisces. And we're about to be in it to win it. So what's the situation going on between Aries and Capricorn? And please drop the sign of the person that you are dealing with down below as well as your birthday in the chat, in the comment section. Okay. The Three of Swords, King of Pentacles. Why is everything in reverse? Interesting enough. Um, you and this Aries person, it seems like either a relationship has fallen apart or is falling apart due to, you know, somebody not pulling their weight, not pulling their weight, but also the third party nonsense. Anytime I see multiple Kings and Queens, third parties, the lovers as well. I feel like a situation has run its course with this Aries individual, Capricorn. On top of the fact that there's been a secret relationship that has come out or is coming out that somebody's been deeply invested in. Oh, they got a family with somebody. They live with this person. I feel like I feel like for the majority of Capricorns in this situation with an Aries, it's over. And the fact that I'm seeing this three of swords in the reverse that to me speaks to somebody hurting themselves. Now, some of you may be dealing with a March Aries individual. Capricorn, I feel like this Aries person wants to be forgiven for the situation that you found out about. I feel like they don't want any beef, certainly not any smoke. But I feel like a situation has indeed run its course and not just the running of its course, but somebody making a decision to stay with this other party where they've already invested a lot of time, time, energy, and effort. The moon, Pisces, Cancer, and then the sun here on the opposite end, the fire, the Leo, um, Sagittarius, yeah. What somebody was doing in the dark, somebody not being, excuse me, somebody being disloyal, not holding somebody down. I feel like that's getting ready to come to light. We do have this Mercury retrograde coming in all strong. There's a, there's a household situation that somebody's been hiding, trying to mend and repair, or that's really pulling them in a certain direction. I feel like, unfortunately, the situation with this Aries is, has run its course due to lies, Due to lies, omission, somebody not saying anything. But there's also this energy of somebody being very bitter and cunning. I feel like somebody saw an opportunity to invite a third party in. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's this other person. And when the opportunity presented itself, somebody took it. And really, the fact that somebody thought that they could get away with it. Makes you feel like there was something going on out of town or on a side of town that you're not familiar with. Maybe you're part of two different communities. This is an energy where somebody thought that they could get away with it for an extended period of time and could have their cake and eat it too. But they don't want any beef. It's almost like somebody just wants to smoothly move on and transition from this. Capricorn, let me know what resonated for this. You and this Aries individual. So we're done with Aries. Cross them off my list because I'm not going to remember Taurus. Shout out to the Taurus cross watchers that are in the house. Tap in as well. I miss you guys. 
What's going on with Capricorn and Taurus? The Six of Fire. Taurus here. Okay. The King of Air. The Chariot. The Eight of Pentacles. Annabelle Lee with the Queen of Cups. And the repeating three is the three of water and this empress here. Who is this female with these ego issues? Female with the ego issues that I feel like is coming back around, wanting to rekindle a relationship. But you're opposed. And it seems that you're opposed because you've already moved on from a situation. You've left it behind. I'm also wondering if this is one of those situations, Capricorn, where not only you've moved on from this, but there may have been a falling out with this person. Because this to me almost looks like eh, it could be romantic, but it gives the friend vibes. Like falling out with somebody in your circle. We see the not speaking to someone. We see this person surrounded here in the six of one. Yeah. This Taurus individual... It's giving woman, but it could be a, very much be a male. Where somebody's pride and ego was getting the best of them. The silent competition trying to keep you from, keeping you from certain opportunities is ice cold. This is very specific. And how did I miss this three right here? There's three, water, fire, with the water in the background. And then this Empress here, which is the, the Earth energy, that Taurus. Yeah. I feel like somebody's entire world flipped upside down when you decided to exit or when, even when they pushed you out. And I feel a sense of pushing somebody out again. As you know, I like to reference um, the poem here, Annabelle Lee for this Queen of Cups. It really feels like somebody, again, the pride, ego, jealousy, pushing someone out, trying to keep someone from certain opportunities. And we see the worker bee energy here with the eight of pentacles. What goes around comes around. You know how I feel about the eights, positive or negative, because it's not just negative. Oh, they did something wrong. Bad things are going to happen to them. It's positive too. When this person pushed you away, Capricorn, or kept you from certain opportunities, things started to fall apart for them as well. Why do I have this, this sense, this weird feeling that they pushed you out of a particular group and then that group pushed them out or there was a separation? Please drop the birthday of this Taurus that's a liar. Could, could you... Fill in the blanks for me. That's exactly what this is. It's almost like somebody pushed you out to push a narrative that couldn't be, that was only going to go so far. We see the energy of it being a childish lie. We see the page of swords. Mm, mm, mm. Again, the being immature and petty. It makes you feel like somebody's spreading like gossip and rumors and then hiding their hands. Yeah. This person wanting to make their way back around as things, the tables have turned for them, speaks to somebody being lonely by themselves, things not really working out for them. See? And this King of Swords, this person is just angry and bitter. When I say cunning, super cunning, but that cunning energy, it's gotten them into trouble. And clearly there's been falling out with people. Again, you see the, the jealous angels up here. Yeah. Who's this person that feels like they should be treated like a princess or a queen? Like it's very much this entitlement energy. Jealousy and entitlement is, is some dangerous stuff. This person has fallen out with these other people and is looking to reconnect, which screams they don't have any, they don't have anybody left. They don't have anybody left. Mm, mm, mm. 
the raven nevermore. Come on now. It's over. This person doesn't have any friends. They don't have anybody to talk to. I feel like they may have even left a social situation because it got uncomfortable. See, somebody who would just be in a silent competition with you is also in many other silent competitions with other people. Other people caught on to this person's ignorance, immaturity, the lies, the fact that they're a gossiper, or even like the office messy Bessie. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, this person is wanting to make their way back around. I also feel like the reason for this person's return is, oops, excuse me. There's been some things that have come out about them. Come out about them. And as well as, this is somebody who needs something from you. They need something from you now. They're going through a hard time, an emotional hard time. Notice how there's like nothing left in this cup. They don't even have anything to say for themselves. I really feel like that there's something about this moon in reverse that there's a lot coming out, but it screams like a tower moment. Like somebody has absolutely nothing left. They're down on their luck. They're depressed. They're on their own. They're hoping for some type of new beginning. I wouldn't be... So mm. When I say that somebody is looking for some stability, nothing's changed. And this was more referenced in, I think, the last reading yesterday, that nothing has changed with this individual. It's the same thing, different day. They're just coming back around because they have no one else left. No one else left, no one else around them. And I feel like you ultimately know exactly what, what why this person is trying to come back around or exactly why this person is all by themselves and has nowhere else to go. Taurus, you need to be wary of this Taurus, excuse me, Capricorn. You need to be wary of this Taurus person that's full of regrets and really wanting to spin the block. The Lenore, the rape, yes. This is somebody that thought that they would never talk to you again or you thought that they would never speak to you again. And here they are darkening your doorstep looking for forgiveness, looking for a second chance here, really hoping that you'll be the bigger person because they're not. I mean, again, they're still immature, still immature. Oh, don't think that they're coming and don't think that they're coming back with an apology. They want to come back playing victim with no apology, just hoping that time passed was enough. Tor Capricorn. Please drop this Taurus person's birthday down below and let me know what resonated for you. Moving on to Gemini, which we've seen a lot of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy lately. What is going on with Capricorn and this Gemini? Drop this Gemini's birthday down below. There's a Gemini who feels like you have some unfinished business together. The world. Another deck upside down. Capricorn, please drop your birthdays. The mother of coins. The ten of cups. Oh, somebody going through a hard time. Seven of pentacles. The moon again. 10, 10, 10, drop those repeating numbers. And the two of pentacles, eight of coins. I told you what goes around comes around. This person's back around, back in your face, feeling like you have some unfinished business. Did you in fact used to work with this person? We see the business card here, but it's our girl in the bed with the sleep mask. The lavender. The turtle screaming that this has been a slow return for this person, this Gemini in particular. It's been a while since you've heard from them, since you were in a serious relationship with this individual. Some of you, it may have resulted in children or maybe you were previously married. And I see the queen of pentacles, king, queen. But this is somebody who still feels like they're still invested in this situation, or maybe you should still be. 
Mm. We get this energy of somebody being very miserable in their current situation and somebody looking back. So we're talking about specifically a Gemini person. It's screaming male, but it could be female with the moon. That feels like there is some unfinished business and they are unhappy in their current situation. I repeat, in their current situation, somebody is unhappy and looking for a way out. Shout out to the Capricorn born in the year 78 or 87. This 10 of water, 10 of earth. Notice how we see two families here. Who is this Mary Gemini Capricorn that's trying to pull you into some mess? They still got the feely feels for you. Still trying to hold on, carry on a double life. Because, you know, it's the circle of trust for me in this unicycle. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. This person feels safe with you. Safe to tell their truth, safe to be themselves, safe to not get caught up with their husband or their wife at home here with the garden. Mm, mm, mm. You need to be very careful about this person. See, see, see. The hangman scream says it all. The big queen here, the empress in the reverse. When I say that somebody is married, they may be unhappy in their marriage, but what we're looking at, married, not divorced. Still have a legal, spiritual obligation to somebody else. Having the audacity mm, 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 to approach you, knowing that they're still connected. Hey, just because you're depressed, because you... Because you left a Capricorn, that's not our problem now. This is that. The clarity kicked in once they made this major commitment here. And here's the thing. They made this commitment and before, everything was all good. See, if we flip this all around, we're talking about somebody who's very happy. Very happy in a situation that they kept a secret from you. Because you, you may not the first go around, because this is at least the second time not have known that they were involved with somebody else, that somebody else on the, on the side, married, even had children. But now you do. Now you do, because and your eyes have been opened. And once there has been this clarity, you can't act like you don't know what's going on. And on top of that, we see somebody coming back around because they're bored. Because they're bored in this situation with their husband, wife. Because they're bored in this situation that they, again, they chose this person. This person chose this person when they were with you. Now they want to come for, uh, now they want to come for talking about a tower moment. They're going through some hard times. It's hard out here for a pimp. Mm, the magician. So we got Scorpio Aries here with the tower, Gemini Aries with the magician, Black Hermit. And then we got Scorpio, big Taurus with the them bon strong feelings, big tower moment, lots of power and control, manipulation, somebody being very crafty. Remember Gemini, the lover, yeah, the serpent. This person is trying to snake their way back into... Snake their way back into your life. And speaking of snake, this is all that they're bringing. Or this is all that they're looking for. To be piped down. This is somebody looking to start an affair. Period, point blank. I'm not even going to go back and forth about it. But understand this. For the person feeling like they want to give this person the benefit of the doubt. This person has no intentions on leaving this other situation. I feel like there are things going on in their current commitment 
that they're unwilling to disclose. And part of that is because if they disclose it, they know that you would not want to participate in this on top of the fact that it's already very taboo and high risk. But this person is not wanting to walk away from this other person. And they're also not wanting to walk away from you, especially if you're going to allow this person to live this double life, for them to have two separate families here, two separate situations. Oh, this is somebody who wants to have their cake and eat it too. I mean, having it made in this, they're not depressed about nothing. They're not depressed about anything. I see this person coming in talking a lot of cash, money, trash about this person that they, again, they chose over you. You want to, you don't want to even want to hear this. They're chilling. They're bored. They're looking for some type of excitement. And this person really trusts you. And here's the sickest part of all of this. They trust you because they know in the past you were deeply invested in them. And what's the age difference between you and this old Gemini individual with the son of coins here? See, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was somebody playing on you being naive. Oh, they were an older person, man or woman in a marriage looking for a side piece. Or playing on the fact that you have children. But this person understands that you're very invested or that you were. And they are definitely trying to play on that. I told you about this person coming back only looking to lay up with you. They're not as miserable as they claim to be. They're just bored. They're just bored. They're looking for... They're bored because they don't have something secret going on here in the background. The card of an instigator. So not just the Ace of Wands here. And we see, okay, look, messy boots. Mm, mm, mm. Instigator, liar, cheater, thief. They like to start drama. When I said that this person is bored, they don't have something going on behind somebody's back. I feel like that's also part of this person's game the triangulation. I also feel specifically Capricorn, this person coming back to you is also a pain point for this other party. So they're coming back because you're invested. They have this history with you. Um, but there's also an element of getting back at this person that they're committed to. This person is very codependent. You can call them a narcissist if you'd like, because it's the same energy, codependence and narcissist. But uh, yeah, they, they're not going to leave. This person needs an extreme amount of attention, an extreme amount of validation. I also feel like for the person that gets caught up in this, the second go around, you're not just going to get caught up in the emotional aspect of this, but in the actual tower moment of somebody being busted out for being going outside of their relationship. Oh, this will be public. You will absolutely be exposed. You do not want to, you do not want to get caught up in this situation. Okay, that's not for you. Anything that is this confusing is not right. And we see again the lies, the confusion. This person can't be trusted. Again, this person is, I feel like, playing on the age difference or somebody being naive and having these deep feelings for them. You need to, there's no unfinished business here. This person is only not finished because they hope that you're not finished. Capricorn, drop the birthday of this Gemini. Let me know what resonated. And we're about to move on to Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. this cancer person's birthday down below mm, the nine of cups okay coming through with the life of luxury well fed well traveled well educated dressing nice 
Why are we taking something away with the Ace of Coins? The Emperor in reverse, Virgo in reverse. What is going on with the Hermit? The Ten, the Knight of Cups, Twos consistently showing up. Two of Fire. Who's giving up on this relationship with a Cancer? Even though things are going really well, somebody's removing some, themselves or an offer off of the table here. Due to something that was discovered, we see the sun. Due to something coming to light, somebody is stepping back. There's been some type of conflict Due to somebody pulling away. Or somebody is pulled away due to a conflict. Where they feel like there was a loss of control or a loss of position. Please drop the birthday of this person. Whether it's you or this cancer individual that's having, that's ego got hurt. And because their feelings got hurt, somebody got ego checked, there's a need to separate themselves. Because to me, this speaks to overnight a situation changed, just immediately, that something went wrong, whether you know it or not. Because this to me almost gives the vibes of like somebody either silently pulling away or just being extremely passive aggressive and they're moving away from the situation between you and them. And it's quickly pulling back with this daughter of baskets. Quickly pulling back and being very cold emotionally, like emotionless, really saying that they're busy, they're focused on work right now. Oh, they're hustling now. Is that right? But really somebody's feelings were hurt by something that was said or, or came to light. I told you somebody was trying to emotionally, when it's the passive aggressive. Yeah, somebody did not like something that was said and instead of addressing it, they're choosing to just be passive aggressive and just pull away. And by pulling away the six of knives, which is so dangerously close to that ghosting with the seven of swords for me as a reader, Understand that this person is just moving on. When I say going silent, the passive aggressive, not answering phone calls, not responding to text messages, not paying any attention to what somebody's doing online or liking people, liking your statuses, liking their statuses. Somebody is extremely childish. The communication issues during this Mercury retrograde, apparently through the roof. I feel like things were going really well with this cancer person up until, up until this moment. What, what, now I wanna clarify, what's going on here with the sun and this discovery and this straw that broke the camel's back? Please let me know what it was down below, family, because I'm, I'm, I'm being nosy now. I'm curious. That six of cups is kind of telling. So what's this energy of somebody being inconsistent? Inconsistent. Let me take that back. This is the energy of somebody knowing their worth, male or female, and strutting their stuff. I feel like somebody got intimidated by you, Capricorn. We see the judgment here. Oh. 
Somebody needed to get out before the kitchen got too hot. Notice how we see the six of cups twice here and here. See, this is what happens when you get too caught up in the feminist nonsense podcast and the even worse, the red pill stuff. My goodness, this is that. <laughs> somebody got intimidated by something that somebody said, especially having to do with an opportunity that was getting ready to take off. Maybe you guys were into the same type of things here. I also get this energy that maybe somebody shared something that was very close to them, a project, something that they were working on. And by somebody giving their opinion or advice as to how to manage a situation or to do something, somebody telling somebody a course of action or giving somebody a course of action, revealing something to them, was also a major point of frustration. Like you're not supposed to tell this person anything. Notice all the fire here. Sagittarius with this temperance. The knight and this temperance here. And again, Sagittarius with the sun. This person's very bold. They felt like it was a very bold move to say something. Like your opinion wasn't necessary. I also get this energy of somebody feeling like either you were competing with them or they were going to have to, okay, they were going to have to compete with you. This nine, this nine of wands as well. It's interesting that it's in the reverse with everything, with everything else that's come out this, today. But if we hold it right side up, they'll be climbing up some stairs. Why is this person trying to take you down? See, there must be a hierarchy here in this situation between you and this cancer person where they have to be above you. And when they realize that you were either equal or you were getting ready to surpass them in something, again, in their own mind, and this energy could be vice versa, that completely turns somebody off. As well as, you know, it almost feels like somebody feeling like you, you were taking an opportunity from them. Not taking any of those. Yeah. Anytime I see the tempers in the reverse, it screams that this person is their own problem. This is a one-sided issue. And then we see another night here. Yeah. This is somebody who doesn't like to take any type of advice. And when you even just merely suggested something to this person with having to do with clearly something that was very important to them, all right, held a lot of, held, holds a lot of weight, they needed you to just say nothing. It really screams that somebody felt judged or is feeling judged, feeling like uh, they need to compete with you. I wouldn't be surprised also, if this person was embarrassed of their behavior a little bit, and that's also the reason for this silence. Because you know that this person is getting, seeing your, your calls, they're getting your text messages. See? And the Black Herman here. This person just wanted you to be quiet. I hope you weren't dealing with this person very long, whether this was a friend, a lover, whatever. This person is, this is their way of being extremely passive aggressive and keeping you from talking about something. This, they're miserable. And less, and less miserable is this person is deeply insecure, deeply insecure. And you're seeing it here. Deeply insecure and, and unstable could be financially, could be just mentally, but uh, yeah. You completely debase this person with what you said or vice versa here. And, and, they, and they're not going to tell you what it is. They're not going to tell you what it is. They're not going to clarify. They're not going to give you an explanation, again, because they're embarrassed. But they're not going to pour anything into this. They're just going to continue to give you space. They don't mind you begging. I feel like there's somebody that might come around. But really, this is about, this is about keeping somebody quiet 
about teaching you a lesson and saying too much or trying to correct this person. Yeah. Libra. The moon. Yeah. Notice how their back is turned twice. The Queen of Cups here in reverse. Oh, the emotional manipulations of it all. This person wants you to just, you know, shut up and dribble. Shut up and just look good. Shut up and just smile, Capricorn. Just sit there and smell good. You don't got to tell me what to do. You don't got to suggest anything. I told you you really like this person. Now you, you have no choice but to remove these rose-colored glasses and see that this person has more that they need to work on than maybe what you realized in the beginning. That part of this whining and dining and this amazing cheesecake factory, because I love a Caesar salad from the Cheesecake Factory and some red velvet mm, cheesecake, the best. But um, somebody's insecurities got the best of them. Capricorn, drop this Cancer's birthday down below. Let me know what resonated for you. Moving on along. Child to Leo. It has been a while. Shout out to the Leo cross watchers that may be in the building. Let me switch up my deck since we're here. Um, oh, okay, Leos. We're bringing out our girls, the golden girls. Drop your favorite golden girl down below. Leo, Leo, Leo. What is going on with this situation? between Capricorn and our favorite Ratchet Leos. Mm, mm, mm. Last shuffle and we are in it tonight. Please remember to hit the like button too, family. Somebody's trying to spin the block on you. There's a Leo looking to spin the block on you. Now they want to cooperate. Now they want to work together. Mm. The Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups, Two of Fire, Ten of Pentacles, Big Sagittarius, Leo with the Sun. Long time no see. Where you been? When I say that this person is wanting to come back in, I feel like looking good, feeling good, smelling good, coming in happy and excited, but wanting to rekindle this past relationship. And when I look at the Ace of Cups in the reverse, that went sour, okay? When they left, there was nothing left. It also speaks to somebody being extremely flaky and inconsistent when I see the Knight of Wands in the reverse. I'm not going to get into the area of untrustworthy, but, you know, if it fits, it fits. But you couldn't trust this individual, right? They were flaky, weren't showing up the way that they needed to, but it's also this player energy. See, this is somebody coming back after they felt like they could get better elsewhere, Capricorn. Yeah, because we see that there's been some space. Some of you may be dealing with um, a Leo Virgo Cusper as I see this two of wands with the earth in one hand, the wand in the other. Shout out to my husband in my head, Dr. Umar Johnson. During this time away, somebody has not only had some time to reflect, but uh, to watch you from a distance as well, Capricorn. And this is somebody who is still hoping to see what else is out there, what's better, but also, you know, keeping one hand on you also. Keeping tabs. We see the eight of pentacles here. We see the three, somebody trying to work together, build something. Why do I feel like this person wants to work with you? Like specifically somebody is coming back because they don't have something. They're out of something. Now this could just be romantic, right? They're just thirsty and desperate. But I really feel like this person is coming in happy because they have their, their hand out. Mm. Mm. And drop the repeating numbers that you've been seeing. The six with the lovers, 
And then the Six of Swords here. Yeah. This person has waited. Oops, ex ooh, okay, excuse me. <laughs> Until they felt like the perfect opportunity to reconnect or re come back around presents itself. And then they will approach you. Now, the, the weird thing about this, I'm so glad that I, I pulled this deck out. Shout out to my people in Detroit. It's the stand in the background. This is somebody who's making their way back towards you, a Leo that was once obsessed with you. I wouldn't be surprised if the way that they come in all excited, if they're not back into that obsessed, want to know everything that you're doing, wanting to kind of link up all the time type of energy. Oh, this is even worse than the last person with the can't be alone. Needing to have other people around them. I also, mm, okay, let's get into it. Seven and the queen of wands in the reverse. And I told you about them tables. They've turned. They've turned. So Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Two of Fire, Two of Pentacles, the Lovers and the Six of Swords, all that air and six energy. Yeah, somebody, oh, this is the person we were talking about yesterday with the avoiding the consequences of their actions. This is that. Somebody is obsessed, this Leo in particular, is very obsessed with rekindling this relationship, this friendship, this romance, this work relationship, because they have nowhere else to go. When I tell you that somebody's confidence has taken a major hit, that this person is extremely vulnerable right now, why do I feel like somebody lost their looks? Like they're like the last time you saw them, they weren't looking like this. I don't want to say somebody's gaining weight, but maybe they're not taking care of their skin. Maybe they're just not taking care of themselves. Maybe this is the way that they're dressing. But somebody's going through a hard time. Like you would never expect for them to look this way or be or or be really. You don't expect this person to be down this bad. I'm also wondering if it's not that somebody's in a legal situation here and doubling back, needing somehow obsessed with, you know, getting back on the right track here. What's with this situation? Let me. Let's clarify this vulnerable moment. I feel like somebody, this Leo, is approaching you now. It's giving me the hypocritical. Mm. And there it is. When I say that this person is extremely vulnerable right now, I feel like somebody is starting over. And don't let this be somebody... OK, that was trashing you, mistreating you, doing you dirty or even left you. OK, when you were down and out, it's the it's the hypocrisy here with this justice card here in the reverse. See what goes around comes around. Now they want to work it out, cooperate, double back. Oh, not the black swan vibes. Did you ever see that terrible movie? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. When I say that somebody's lost their looks, the duckling, the black, mm hmm Somebody's physical appearance has gone down. Somebody's not as confident as they once were. And that's this one in the, oh, whoa, now I'm getting disgusted. And that's why this person is coming back. They think that you'll take them like this. Where they went looking for better won't accept this how they're looking, how they're acting, how they're feeling. Oh, somebody ain't feeling too confident. And this speaks to somebody who used to be really attractive 
and then just lose it. Not the star in reverse. Woo, what is going on? When we talk about somebody on the decline, descending, going down, that's exactly what this is. It really speaks to somebody falling from grace, looking like a fool, acting like a fool. You never expected this person to be, I'm telling you, this down bad. This down bad. If it's not a legal situation, they're not looking like themselves. What is this? The six of wands. Mm, mm, mm. That pride and ego got the best of somebody. I feel like somebody is coming back towards you because they don't want other people to see them like the, the way that they've transformed and not a nice way. Mm. This person was very caught up in their physical appearances. And when they were, and when they had those physical appearances, they, they weren't thinking about you. Notice how we see the magician and the lovers here. The geese. Shout out to my people in Canada. Yeah. The leopard here. And we're already talking about a yeah. A leopard doesn't change its spots. A tiger doesn't change its stripes. This is the same type of person. They're down and out. They think that they know, you know, they know in their mind that you'll accept them down and out, not at their best. They don't have nowhere else to go. Now they want to come back to you with a rose. Look at our girl here. Yup. Now they want to come back here looking for love. Oh, they want you to hold them down. They want you to give to them. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And let me tell you something. It took a lot for this person to reach out. They may be acting like everything's cool, De La. Excited to meet up with you. Again, upset. But that's because where they really want to be is not where they can be right now. That is so interesting. And if it's not from their physical appearance or what they've been doing, somebody's definitely fallen from grace here. Mm. Yeah. I feel like this person's going to come back around and they're not even going to tell you why they're why they're back around. I feel like they're very embarrassed. They're very embarrassed. They're very embarrassed about what happened in the past. They would just like to move on because they understand that they were straddling the fence. I also feel like this person is approaching you in particular because they feel like they you could help this person get back on track, get back to the way that they were. And the fact that we're seeing Blanche here, my girl, but somebody who's very selfish, self-centered, all about themselves, this person is coming back so that you can so that you can help them carry this burden. You can help them with these problems that they're having. Capricorn, there's a Leo coming back so you can save them. So that you can save them now that their perspective has changed. And I feel like the people that they wanted to spend their time with are no longer dealing with them. This is somebody who is bored and in exile right now. Capricorn, drop this Leo's birthday down below. Hit the like button and let me know what resonated for you. We're moving right on to Virgo. Right on into this Virgo energy. I'm putting them down. repeating numbers and the nine of wands mm. 
there's a Virgo that would like to rekindle a relationship with you as well. But here's the thing. You've separated yourself from this person or this Virgo has separated themselves from you. And it really screams. I wonder, are, are you both blocked? Have you blocked each other? Somebody's blocked. Somebody's blocked, if not both of you. But there's a Virgo person that is wanting to rekindle this relationship, move on, and is really hoping to be welcomed with open arms. I really feel like this is somebody who's just going to try and like pop up on you. Like just kind of show up in the same place that you are, especially if you publicly post what you're going to do. Like if you're going to a particular event and you let people know that you're shopping for an event, this person's going to try and find a way to meet up with you face to face. If not, just pull it right up to your house in an effort to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you. This is somebody who wants to speak to you alone and in private, but they're not unwilling to come and meet you in a public place if they know that you are going to be there. I also feel with that Three of Pentacles that this may be somebody who has enlisted the help of other people in an effort to, again, to have this face-to-face -face converse, to fool you into having this face-to-face -face conversation. Especially if you see this person at an event, someone may try to pull you aside, separate you from the group. And what you're really going to be walking into is a conversation, a conversation with this person. Right place, right time to chit chat. Um, Gemini and Aquarius here with the star. Yes, right place, right time, having all the tools necessary to be successful to have this conversation and move on. This is somebody who's been thinking heavily about the past between you and this person, the good times especially. And again, it's the, also this individual having other people watch you, give them information on you and what you have going on. And this person in particular is wanting it. They're going to try and fool you into a face-to-face -face conversation. This is somebody who's trying to get you alone so that they can talk about these feelings that they still have. This is somebody who wants to be forgiven and they want to move forward. There's still, there's still a strong attraction between you and this person. And it really screams that somebody is chasing after someone. Like not giving up on this relationship, not giving up on this situation. More twos. Honey, it can't eat, can't sleep without you. I really feel like somebody, if they cannot get a hold of you, if they cannot find a way to meet you in public, they will just pull up to your house in an effort to have this, in an effort to have the conversation. I wouldn't be surprised if this person wouldn't catfish you in an effort to fool you to have a face-to-face -face conversation or even a phone conversation with them. This person wants to talk. They want to talk, they want to have a conversation, and they would like to move forward with you. But they understand that there's a past issue, some type of falling out that happened between the two of you that needs to be addressed. And what we see here is this isn't somebody who's not willing to address it. They just understand the high priestess, two of cups, and the two of wands. You are unwilling, or this could be vice versa, the other person, this Virgo individual is unwilling to have the conversation. But somebody feels like, again, enough time has passed that they should be forgiven. You guys should be able to just move, bury the hatchet and move on and start something new. But they understand that they need to talk about this, in, this issue that was the straw that broke the camel's back here. They understand that. This, this unlike some of the other people that we see, um, understands that they, there, there's a, a situation that needs to be addressed in order for you both to move on. Because without it, this person is indeed stuck. 
And they know, and because it was such a major issue here, they know that it has to be addressed. There's no way around it. And they do want to be forgiven. They do, in fact, want to bring up this old stuff and they want to be forgiven for it. They want to be forgiven and to move on. You know, and there's also this element of wanting to just end something and not having to worry about be getting even with each other or you getting even or they are. But somebody wants to end the, the lack of communication and come back together. Now, let me know what resonated for you and this Virgo person. Drop their birthday down below. I'm moving on to Libra. Lord. What is going on with this situation with a Libra? got a Libra that wants to talk. The justice card. It doesn't get any more straightforward than that. There is a Libra that wants to talk. I would not be surprised if they reach out to you via text or social media in an effort to get your attention. I also feel there's something about this justice card And this person looking depressed, like somebody has something important that they need to tell you. Who's this nefarious Libra? Okay. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. And I'm... Already forgetting something. This was the bottom of the deck in this two of Baby, somebody's at an, an, a serious crossroads here. And while I feel like this Libra person could be anybody, lover, friend, I feel like I feel like this person is family. I could be wrong. But somebody is wanting to say something to you. They have something important to say. Why do I feel like somebody's got a legal problem? Somebody's caught up in some mess. Somebody is caught up in some mess and they need somebody to talk to. If not, that they need somebody in their corner. I also feel like there's other people involved in the situation that they've gotten themselves in. Notice how we see this woman, you know, looking crazy, stressed out. And you have two people here with the pressure. Both of these people with the hands behind their back were hiding something when I see that. Then we get here to this Knight of Swords, more of that air energy, right? Libra, air signs, blowing hot air. Notice how here we got evidence everywhere. Our man's knees are dirty. What are you doing on your knees? The floor, the crumbs everywhere, the dirty shovel in the background. There's somebody in some trouble, could even be a legal situation. I'm going to get real specific. A legal situation in which they're caught up and the other people that were involved multiple parties when I see multiple kings, queens, and knights. The other parties involved are being forgiven, let go, not a part. Is this somebody just getting snitched on? This person is in desperate need of your help. The crop. Please drop this Libra's birthday down below. Capricorn, what is going on with this Libra? Hold on. Oh, somebody's going through it right now. When I say that they're super stressed, I mean, losing their hair over this. All this fire. Yeah. Notice all these people around watching. 
Oh, somebody doesn't have anybody in their corner right now going through it, being ripped to shreds, limb by limb. Mm-hmm. Somebody's story is falling apart due to the other people that they were involved in this situation with telling their side of the story. Are you following? Everything is looking like it's this one particular individual. Notice all the evidence around this person. Somebody's been set up. Set up. Is this call, come, call coming in collect? Yeah. Notice the judgment here. There's a Libra that needs your help. That's in a jam, legally. Tower freaking moment. No way out burying them. There's nothing more sad than when you were kicking it with somebody really heavy and they turned their back on you. But here's the thing. What was this illegal activity in which somebody had, had the ability to tell on them? See, there's no honor amongst thieves. That's why they got to be careful. Because this screams that somebody never thought that this would happen. But look, think about how close you have to get to knife someone, as I mentioned in another reading, to pull somebody apart limb from limb, to completely break down what somebody was doing. This is somebody being betrayed by the people closest to them. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands, doing some deep reflecting here. And what continues to come out is this star and this magician. These, these tower moments. These other two people, as we see two people here in the Seven of Wands, they protected themselves. Why do I feel like they got caught up first? See, the first one to speak wins. This person needed to watch the company that they keep. And now we see mm, them wanting to be forgiven. Somebody wanting to come back home, make things right with you, make things right with their family. What is, what is this contract that went wrong? Like that's where the con conflict starts is this money contract issue. And then we see somebody trying to pull the wool over somebody's eyes here. See, what goes around comes around. Let me clarify this because now I'm very, very curious. What it, mm, the world, the Libra energy as well as the fixed signs. But somebody being naive or being reckless and mishandling their business, not taking care of business. And notice how this is circular. So coming right around, being exposed. I'm also think, I also think of circles when I think of um, spiders as well. Charlotte's Web. Let's talk about getting caught up. Let's talk about web scamming over the internet. The world wide web, scamming over the world wide web. There we go. Libra, Libra, Libra. Yes. Somebody has been caught up in some mess that they were doing with other people. See, they weren't the only person involved. It just looks like they're about to be the only person going down. Now they want to reach out to you to try to get them out of this trouble. Now we're seeing the Eight of Swords again. This butterfly in this cocoon. See, because now this person wants to change. Now they want to put out a, a gospel album like R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Changing their ways. I wish, I wish, I wish. Yeah. 
He about to be play fighting undercovers with Diddy. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Somebody's in trouble. Somebody, it, and they know it, losing sleep over this situation. And here's the thing. If this was something that happened over the internet, www remember you had to remember when you used to have to type that in or you couldn't get anywhere there's evidence it's all over the place everything was trackable i also feel that somebody's trying to protect other people here why do I feel like somebody's children are involved also with this mother of wands? We see this snake here. You know, I love a snake. I miss my king snake, by the way. Rest in peace, Oreo. But we see the eggs. We see the eggs, which speaks of somebody protecting their children or protecting something precious to them. And notice how we see the horizon here. Now we see the sun. Absolutely. Somebody in an effort to protect themselves and their family and what's going on with their house, in their house, was very quick, okay? to throw somebody else into the fire, to expose this person, expose this whole little operation here. And we see that exposure, the sun, the judgment here, absolute, and the father of wands, king and queen. When I tell you this person wasn't doing it alone, now we're talking about somebody's right-hand man, right-hand people. And don't let it be that the person that they had children with, mm, Mm -hmm. <laughs> is ratting them out. What else for this king of wands? And note the cobra, right? This person was easily persuaded to give this Libra up. Dang. Selfish. When I tell you that somebody sold this person out in an effort to save themselves and what they had going on, as I mentioned earlier, there is no honor amongst the. Somebody wasn't going to dang jail. <laughs> somebody wasn't getting locked up and they was going to throw away the key. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nevermore, the raven. When I say that these people have fallen out permanently, another five here, five, a number of chaos and confusion, 55, a number of change. Notice how this horse is hanging its head down. Look, somebody is embarrassed. Somebody is being embarrassed, been caught up, exposed. And we see that our girl looks embarrassed. My goodness, it's, it's, there's too much evidence. And we see her signing a freaking plea deal. Yeah, there's too much. That butterfly again, yeah. I feel like somebody's very worried about being locked up for a very long time or having to deal with the consequences of this for an extremely long time. And it really speaks to somebody's double life an entire situation being exposed. This was not this was not supposed to be this long. Oh, this is serious. Super betrayal written all over it. Written all, and all the snake energy that and you see it what goes around comes around. It's come back around. Somebody is, try is trying to avoid dealing with the consequences of the, yeah, crazy as a fox, the seven of swords, a liar, a cheater, a thief. Look at it. Mm-hmm. 
Everybody has their day. This liar, cheater, they couldn't get away with it forever. And we see another seven, drop those repeating, right. They thought they were going to get away with it forever. They thought that, especially if this was somebody that they had children with family, where some of the people deal, they thought that they were safe. When I say that there's no honor amongst thieves, that's exactly what I meant. Somebody, this Libra in particular is getting caught up. Capricorns, drop this Libra's birthday down below. Let me know it resonated. Hit the like button. Mm -mm -mm. Moving on to Scorpio. Moving on to Scorpio. And it was a Scorpio that created this deck. So, oops, excuse me. I'm going to use it. And it's one of my favorites. Please hit the like button, Capricorn, and drop the Scorpio's birthday that you are dealing with down below. Last little shuffle, and we are in it to win it. I'm moving right along here. All right, Scorpio. Water. Mm, mm, mm. The moon in river, water. The Pisces energy of it all, but okay. Why do I feel like there's this water sign person, specifically a Scorpio, that is trying to make their way back around to, towards you? I also feel like this is somebody, you know, keeping tabs on you, watching you from a distance. Cancer, all the water. I like that. The four of coins, the two of swords, mm -hmm. the queen of fire, father of earth, and the five of wands. Oh, you can sense that this person is poking around, trying to see what's going on with you. I can feel that you sense that this person is around, keeping tabs, but it really streams that somebody's trying to make their way back. Again, you have a history with this person. You haven't talked for them to them in a while. I really feel like this person doesn't know exactly how they want to approach you. They just know that they do want to approach you. Specifically, this Scorpio making their way back around after slandering you to their people and slandering you to their people after spreading gossip and rumors behind your back. And we see that behind the back energy not just with um, our girl here in the five of sticks and the whispers in the background, but we see nothing but two backs here with the moon. The moon in reverse screams that there's some secrets that have come out. Mm. And I keep talking about these tables. You may be hearing something about this Scorpio person and then falling out with somebody, but... Um, What you really need to do is to keep it pushing and keep it cute when this person reapproaches you. Because I feel like because of whatever happened in the past with the slander and the lies, this person doesn't know how to approach you because they can't, they, they for dang sure can't ask you what's going on with you after they were spreading your business around town. They certainly can't ask how you been, what are, what are you up to? when they were trash talking you because you wouldn't want to give this type of person your information. But this is somebody looking to reconnect with you that you definitely need to protect yourself from. That this person has already shown you that they are indeed dangerous. And notice how we have these skulls, the death card energy, even in the background of this nine of wands. You've seen enough. And not only that, you know what it makes me think of? It's just somebody who's extremely uncouth. Like, I hate to use the term savage, but like, like just somebody that's just completely inappropriate, doesn't know how to act, doesn't know how to conduct themselves. I also feel like the wild things that they were spreading about you were 
outrageous. But this person is um, wanting to rekindle the relationship. And I really feel that it has a lot to do with that you are doing very well. I also feel like there is a relationship that's starting, whether that's romantic or business, that this person is seeing and taking a particular interest in. The fact that you're looking good, doing good, and things are working out for you. Notice how we see um, the genie lamp from Aladdin. This person seeing your wishes come true even after they slandered you. It's like a moth to a flame. Like they just can't turn away. They can't stand you, Capricorn, but they can't turn away. Mm. They can't stand you, but they can't turn away. Watching you, even though you've moved on. Let's talk about how toxic this person is. And again, the skull's back here with the nine of wands, but it's the rest in peace on the, I was going to call it a eulogy, but on the uh, funeral program. You know what's crazy is I never read this pamphlet before, but I just did. And you can't, you're not going to be able to read it because my camera quality is not that good. But what it says is the one who got the wrong one. Capricorn energy here with the Bristles Funeral Home. So with this death card energy in the skulls, there's nowhere else for you to move with this individual, right? Um, you've already had a funeral for this person in your head. You've moved on. You have no regrets. This person has regrets. You've leveled up. You're looking good. You're doing good. Good things are happening for you. You freed yourself from this situation. Have options. Now they can do nothing. And look at our girl here. They can do nothing but look like Lot's wife in Genesis. Looking back and looking salty. Salty as an MF. Y'all know I'm not cussing anymore. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Some of you have people coming back around just to be nosy, just so they have something, just so they have something to talk about. Just hanging around outside your house, hanging around outside your job, hanging around outside your department, just trying to hear whatever they can hear. And again, the immaturity. This is some, they don't know how to approach you, which is why I feel like they'll try to hit you up on social media first because it's less confrontational, less direct. Because um, they, they know you don't trust them. They understand that you know that if they're that direct, that you're going to know that they're trying to study you, gather information here with the Son of Knives, Page of Swords. I feel like while most of the time, I love a Scorpio, most of the time Scorpios are very intelligent. You might not be dealing with one of those intelligent Scorpios this go around. That their insecurities, immaturities, and negative mindset is really ruling this person. Like the need to have gossip or and just be messy is, is really their thing. And the pride and ego, it's really taking a lot of people out in this. Yeah. The seeing things going well for you. Driving this person up a wall. Notice this. And this speaks to somebody being very invested in your downfall. Very invested in making you look bad. Very invested, you know, in exposing you and making you uncomfortable in certain situations. Oh, yes. You need to protect yourself from this messy individual. Because they're only coming, they're only coming around at best just to gossip. At the worst, to ruin your to ruin whatever opportunities that you have. This person again is seeing things work out for you and they want a piece of it. This is a and there we see it finally. Yeah. They're hoping that you believe with all the time that's passed, what's it's been four years, five years, that now they can just come back home and you'll believe that they've changed or put, or you're, you know, such a, an emotionally intelligent person, Capricorn, you'll just, you know, put the past behind you. You won't carry it forward, but you already know. 
got those repeating numbers, the nine of air and the nine of fire and fire and air, all right, that fuels fire. This is somebody looking for more information, more fuel. And then we got the train here with the smoke on the top. You see, exactly. They're only coming around. And you can hear this person coming. This is not a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is just a wolf. You hear them coming. You see them coming. You can smell it. The ground shakes when they approach you. You need to be careful. This they're dangerous. They're dangerous and crazy and they're emotionally unstable. And because they don't know what's going on with you, that's they all they know is some things are going well, but they want to know exactly what's going on so they can get in the middle. Capricorn, be wary of this Scorpio, but drop their birthday. Hit the like button and let me know what resonated for you. Moving right on along to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Shout out to the Sagittarius Capricorn Cuspers. What is going on between Capricorn and the Sagittarius? <laughs> Similar to Leo, huh? With the Knight of Wands in the reverse, spinning the block. Oh, but now there's something they want to give you. Now there's some type of promise that they want to give you. And I and I feel strongly that this person is not only spinning the block, but here they are bearing gifts. Spinning. Mm, mm, mm. Big Blanche with the devil. Shout out to the Capricorn born on the 5th and the 15th. The Seven of Earth. Blanche again with the Queen of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. I've seen enough already. Good news is they're coming. <laughs> I need to get my mind out of the gutter. Uh, they're coming forward, bringing a gift, talking about a commitment. That's the good news. Ooh, seven, seven. Seven, seven. Who is this Sagittarius? Born in the year 77, spinning the block, talking about a relationship. Coming right on back, giving the player vibes, male or female. But know this, while they're coming in, bearing gifts, talking about a commitment, why is it still unclear? Are they talking about a commitment with just you or are they talking about you just being committed to them? Sagittarius, see? And this is somebody looking to invest, plant certain seeds. And if you're not careful with this queen of pentacles and this rabbit jumping here, it's gonna be a different type of season. You're gonna be a mama, holding your belly like Blanche is holding that pentacle in a few months. You need to be careful of this person coming back, looking to have a permanent spot in your life about to be your baby mama, baby daddy for life. Best friend of the year. Let's talk about this person coming back, very attractive, talking about a commitment, but it's screaming one-sided. This is about lust. This is about a physical relationship you and this person have that they would love to continue, start up again, because they're either low on options or somebody has exited stage left. 777, seven, seven, how did I miss that? Um, I feel like this is somebody who's jumped in and out of your life on multiple occasions. And again, this to me speaks to a long-term friends with benefits or situationship type of thing. There's the spin like it's a relationship, but really it's been like a long term. I think years when I think of the Queen of Pentacles, seven years, six, too dang long. So here's the good news. This is somebody who wants to keep you around for a long time. 
They understand that you've been holding them down. Dangerous words. Everybody loves a ride or die. Here's the thing. You'll be dying riding. Dying riding. And they're not going to give you a real commitment. But this Queen of Pentacles is a mother. The King of Pentacles is a father to me. This, If you are not careful, you will have a baby with this person. And you will be, I feel like, one of many. This is part of that planting seeds, watching a situation grow, always being able to come back here. The good news is, is they they care about you enough to have you around forever. But why don't they want to do it the why don't they want to do it the right way? And why do I feel like this person is tall? Dorothy here with the three of swords. Tall. You know what? I feel like there's an element to this person that would like a real relationship, but they don't know how to have a real relationship. I feel like this is somebody who likes to have a lot of options, likes to have a lot of people all over them. So what you're not going to hear is that they're in a relationship with somebody else. I feel like this person wants you to be their permanent person, but you will be one of many. You won't be the only one. They might place you above all the other people that they're messing around with or entertaining to keep it more appropriate, right? Because what you have with this person is very special. They do have you on a pedestal. They do like to have you around. I feel like there's also this energy, Capricorn, where you like having this person around too because they're very exciting. This person doesn't want you to go anywhere but this relationship with them is not going anywhere. Again, at best, you will have a child with this person if you're not careful. And they will have a permanent place in your life. You will have a permanent place in their life. But this but this situation between you and them is physical. It's a physical one. Somebody doesn't want to lose you to the streets or really to somebody else. I feel like they're, I mean, they they have a good time with you. You have a good time with this person. But I feel like there's a fear there on this other person's end. It could be yours too. Of being betrayed, of relationships not working out, of things going sour, and it really just being a matter of time before before things do in fact go sour, before things end. Excuse me. I feel like this person's being in and out with you. Is their way of keeping a situation new and keeping it from dying down. But I also feel that there's this element of somebody being in and out and somebody wanting something serious. Like, unlike some of these other readings, we're not seeing a lot of ratchet activity other than, you know, the casual sex element. Because here's the thing about, there's nothing casual about sex at all. There's nothing casual about doing something that can create life. You don't casually create life. That's the dangerous element to this. As well as what you're doing physically with someone, it creates permanent bonds, okay? The devil, bondage. And not just BDSM, folks. Not just the sexy leather, right? And a few spankings here and there and hair pulling. Not that I would know. This is about having permanent ties to someone. Again, this person has feelings they care. I feel like you also have feelings for this person. But there's an element here of somebody being afraid to take a risk, but they're okay <laughs> with taking other risks and possibly tying themselves permanently to people. Does this person have more than one child with more than one person kind of energy? Like that may, that for some people, having children with multiple people is their way of always keeping a piece of someone. Like it's not, like you might think it's an accident. It's really not. 
You might think it's somebody being reckless and it's really not. It's, it's by design. And especially in this situation here where things are very good and you have this close bond with this person, it seems to be very friendly, happy, exciting, all that. Then wanting to kind of always be a part of your life and vice versa. If you are not careful with this person, you will have children with them. But this person is not going to make you a husband, is not going to make you a wife. That's not their MO, at least not this in this phase. Yeah, in this, speaking of phases, and we see the moon here. And notice how it's a skinny little crescent. Is this person Muslim by chance? I don't know why that just came to me, but shout out to y'all because it is Ramadan. Yeah. I feel like this situation that should just be a phase for people at a certain point in their life, like they're just kind of dating and keeping it light. This person's not ready to court and be in a relationship here. And I'm Dorothy, somebody tall and notice the white dresses. Notice how it gives the energy of somebody getting ready to get married or move on to a, a different part of life or a different phase, stage of life, marriage, children. Because we see the the earth in front of Dorothy's belly here. We see the pentacle in front of Blanche here. Somebody might end up pregnant from this situation. Be wary of this person that's trying to keep ties on you to keep you from moving on or to just be with just them. The baby vibes. You need to, you need to be careful about that. Mm -hmm. the, they're coming back around. They want the old, same old relationship. They want to keep their, I feel like this person is going to say they want to have you around for a long time. I feel like this person would even be bold enough to discuss having children, but they're not talking about marriage. They're not talking about a serious, committed relationship here. No, they're not. I feel like this person recognizes, they have the self-awareness to know that they're too selfish for that type of commitment. But this, but what y'all have, them being able to be vulnerable with you on a certain level, on a deeper level, um, this is somebody who really cherishes that. This is somebody who appreciates you, but can't give you what you want, can't give you what you need. But I do feel, I do feel like this person is, I actually feel like this person is going to be very direct about what they do and don't want this time around as long as you ask them. If the conversation comes up, they, they won't play games about it. But this is not an opportunity, again, for a situation to, to really grow and take off. This is about, you know, keeping an eye on somebody, keeping tabs on somebody and keeping their and still be having the ability to, you know, keep their options open. Capricorn, that is all I have for you in Sagittarius. Please drop their birthday. Hit the like button. And family, we are on to Capricorn now. Capricorns that are dealing with another Capricorn, please drop your birthday and their birthday. December and January Capricorns tap in. Shout out to the 1226 Capricorns, my people. You know, I had somebody in my comment section arguing, trying to tell me that I was a Virgo. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You're a Virgo. What are you doing over here? What? Read the room, sir. Uh, and speaking of Virgo energy. <laughs> uh, see, got to be more careful. The hermit here. And the page of wands. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. If it's not a Virgo, that's coming back. There is somebody. Somebody that you really liked. You were very attracted to. Page of Wands. Could have been an age difference between you and this person, but it doesn't have to be. But this is somebody very attracted to. Lots of passion here. Makes me think this person's very handsome, but you've majorly separated yourself. This screams blocked. Blocked and tried to move on. Blocked. Please drop this person's sign down below. Because we see somebody chasing you down. 
not letting you go. The Five of Cups. Somebody's got some deep regrets about not cooperating in the past. Two of Pentacles. Ace, one, two, three. Okay. Knight of Cups. Four. One, two, three, four. Capricorn. And Capricorn energy with that Four of Pentacles. Who is this person that you completely turned your back to? Good looking is chasing you. Good looking, charming, chasing you down. Because we see that you've completely removed yourself from this situation. And as I'm looking at this two of pentacles, we are, I always point out the person with the sunglasses. Um, this person that refused to make a decision about you, about their relationship, or was leading this double life, that's who's spinning the block heavy. That's this person that has these deep regrets about not working with you, about not putting in the effort to make a situation work. To me, it screams that somebody thought you wouldn't walk away. What, they thought you were done? And not only that, it's the sunglasses in this two of pentacles and our person in the brown here with the eyes looking all over the place and then the hiding something. So we're talking about somebody again with the hiding, the double, the, the, the untrustworthy. Another three. Please drop those repeating numbers. Um, why is this person reaching out to your friends and family in an effort to get you to talk to them? Reaching out to your friends and family, trying to make an appearance, showing up where you're trying to show up. This person knows good and darn well you don't want to talk to them. They know. They know. I wouldn't be surprised... I would not be surprised if you don't catch this person drunk dialing you in an effort to get your attention out of pure desperation. This is somebody who did not expect for you to up and disappear. And this hermit completely separating it, disappearing, disappearing, blocking this person, moving on. Because this, somebody's been, they've been looking for you. They've been looking for you, trying to find you. Reaching out over and over and over again. This is somebody who understands that they hurt you bad. And we keep continuing to see this card of ignorance. The page of swords, the immaturity, fire and air. So now who is this instigator? that's making their way back around, regretting, regretting how they were moving. Regretting how they were moving, regretting moving on from you, allowing you to move on. I also feel like this individual is using fake numbers and profiles in an effort to get a hold of you. And as part of this chasing you down, I'm telling you, the weird, wild numbers and fake profiles in an effort to get you to pick up the phone, to meet this person, to see them. What other sign was that that we did? When I say that this person is going to try and trick you <laughs> into a conversation with them, into getting face to face with them. And there's something about this asking the people closest to you and around you in an effort to try and talk to you. And the night of, yeah. 
This person is particularly reckless, Capricorn. I really want you to drop this person's sign. Who is it? Particularly reckless in the way that they do things. We see this Knight of Wands in the reverse. We've pretty much seen that through various decks and other previous readings, right? In this one video. But we see somebody making a mess of a situation here. This screams that somebody's got... um temper issues is it anger um but this person i wouldn't be surprised this person doesn't blow up your phone from fake numbers and when i say blow up blow up because they want to talk they they want to talk they want to rekindle this relationship and it screams somebody feeling entitled to a second chance entitled to a second chance based on the history that you have What else for this sun? And again, the wanting a second chance here, the wheel of fortune upright. The high priestess here. When I say that this person feels entitled to your energy, to your person, this is screaming possessive, controlling. We see the high priestess here. And not only that, why is somebody chasing you around to keep you a secret? Why is this person chasing you around, trying to act like they're your man or your woman, like you're in some type of committed relationship with them, just to keep you a secret? And it screams secret, the four of pentacles, like hide, like, and to be specific, it's the hiding you in plain sight. So I'm not saying that you don't go out and do things, but you're not allowed to say that you're talking to this person. You can only meet this individual out of town. You can't, you're in the same place at the same time, but you can't approach this person, and even say hello. Who do they think they are? Does this person, you know, and we see this emperor card here. Is it that they have a lot of status or do they just like, because is that constellation Leo? Somebody correct me. Is it Leo right here? Is this person just a liar? Like, are they getting caught up lying? You, you see what I'm saying? Y yeah. I feel like this person wants all the benefits of a relationship, but also the benefits of being single as well. And we see somebody trying to lock you down. Trying to play the role of a husband. And you better be careful. Similar, similar to that Sagittarius reading. If you allow this person in and they're wanting this permanent space and feeling entitled, the sun is also a card of fertility. Notice how we see this person. We don't know what they're doing with this hand in their pocket looking up. Honey, it'd be somebody poking holes in a condom, take trying to take it off real slick. And you'll be having a baby with this person. You'll be f family. You'll be all caught up here in a bad way. But this person really wants to come forward and express themselves, talk about how they're feeling, how they still have all these feelings, how they still want you. But the minute, this was somebody who was not expecting you to, to seriously pull away. They thought they could continue to play with you whatever that means, play games with you. They thought that you were naive. Or, and really it screams that somebody thought that you wouldn't leave. And the fact that they're playing games with the people that are closest to you, friends and family trying to get information, there's like an element of somebody being like dangerous. Very, very cunning this person is. Very cunning. This person is at a distance. I wonder, what is their social status? Queen, king, pentacles, and the emperor. I feel like somebody's financially stable or has high status. And it's the watching you from a distance, but trying to get people close to you to get you to come, to get you to come towards them. Trying to like pull, pull you in. Capricorn. 
you need to be careful of this other Capricorn individual. They're wildly, con wildly controlling and love the drama. And notice how we see multiple people caught up here, right? Anybody who's fool enough to talk to this person will get wrapped into their little circus. Yeah. Again, the sunglasses and the indoors and the seven of cut, right? They're, they're going around people who don't know exactly what's going on, looking for information, trying to get close to you. And I'm going to say this and I don't say this very often. I feel like this person is trying to humble you. I feel very strong that somebody's trying to get their lick back, trying to humble you, Capricorn, for leaving. And who's this Christmas Capricorn? Shout out to y'all, the ten of swords, this person stuck in this chimney. Absolutely. This is their chance. They're coming back trying to get you stuck, trying to keep you stuck in a situation, stuck in limbo forever in a situation for them. Do, when I tell you don't lay down with this person, don't take your clothes off. Keep your clothes on, Capricorn. Keep them on. This person is waiting for you to let your guard down. And once you do, they're going to capitalize on it. And just as quickly as they were in your face, they'll be gone. But they'll have a permanent tie to you. Mm, mm, mm. You need to be very aware of this person coming back, acting like they want to be forgiven. But really, it's about attention. Really, it's about the fact that they, okay, they lost you. And it may even be that they threw you away. But just because they threw you away, Capricorn, doesn't mean that you're allowed to move on. It's one, the, yeah, it's one of those sick type of people. The codependents, you got to watch out for them. Uh, yeah, be careful of this person trying to make their way back around. I wouldn't even be surprised if they can't have you trying to embarrass you, make you look bad in front of other people. Again, the immaturity of it all. And we see another page, a child. Uno, dos, tres. We officially got Bebe's kids in the house. Watch out for this per okay, that's trying to rewrite the narrative between you and this, you and them. Capricorn, drop this other Capricorn's birthday down below. Mm -mm -mm. Hit the like button and let me know what resonated for you. We are moving right on into Aquarius. Ooh, drop the birthday of this Aquarius that you're dealing with. Actually, no, we're going to do Aquarius with the Golden Girls. Yeah, that's look depressed, sad, weird. It's, look, it's given Aquarius, but we're not going to take that. But what's going on with Capricorn and Aquarius? Please drop this Aquarius person's birthday down below in the chat in the comment section Aquarius mm. and the Aquarius energy with the queen of swords guess who's back back and ready to break the silence looking for a new opportunity here and here's the thing one thing about this Aquarius person they're looking good they're smelling good they're feeling good Mm, see, still don't like themselves, huh? With this four of pentacles. I'm just kidding. I don't know yet. <laughs> the ten of swords, ten of cups, six of wands, big temperance. I really feel like this person is trying to play it cool. Capricorn, they're looking good. They're checking all the physical boxes. We'll give them that. This person doesn't want to admit that they've been missing you. Mm, mm, mm. They don't want to admit that they've been missing you, thinking about you real heavy. Actually, almost obsessed with you since you've been gone. The fact that we see Rose here with this foot in this water, they've been a mess since you've been gone. A mess, all in their feelings, trying to move on, but they, they miss these good times with you. We see that best friend, just like we saw for Sagittarius, it's the, the energy that you bring to the table. 
that this person can be safe with you, that they have a good time with you. I feel very strongly that it is this Aquarius person that's going to reach out, text or social media specifically, in an effort to rekindle this relationship. I also feel that this air sign individual is also somebody who does a lot of traveling here with this Four of Pentacles. They may be reaching out to you because they're back in town. That's the reason for the break in the silence. They want to, you know, start over again here. Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, okie doke. Now this person is talking about rekindling a romantic relationship and now they want to be invested. They want to invest this time around. I also feel like Capricorn, there's an Aquarius, definitely not all of them. I'm not about to jump into the deep end there. But there's an Aquarius that's coming forward with an apology that's willing to apologize for what happened in the past and looking to move forward. We see this card of fertility here and this queen of pentacles with this coin in front of her belly and the rabbit. This is somebody coming in, talking about a serious commitment. So this investment is not just surface level. Oh, this is not just physical. They're talking about really making you their person. Marriage, having children, starting a life together. This could also be growing a business when I think of the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, and to clarify here, we don't see this often. There's not someone else involved. This is an Aquarius that is coming at you. When I say that there's no other options right now, this they're trying to be honest. They're trying to come forward, and we see it here with this queen, being upfront and honest about wanting another chance with you, about rekindling this situation, coming forward, some with an apology, but looking to move forward looking to start up, build the friendship and working back into things going very great. This, this is somebody who feels like they could have that Disney fairy tale ending with you. How long has it been since you've talked to this person? Because we see again, them wanting to break the silence and there being some unfinished business with the world. This person has only been focused and thinking about the good times between you and them. And we see them spinning the block here, coming back around. Spinning the block, coming back around. So not just the Knight of Wands, but this is somebody who typically has options. Has options and does a lot of traveling. So this person is back in town. They've been doing a lot of thinking about you. And there's still a very strong physical attraction. I feel like this person is going to start off by hitting on you, letting you know that they're still interested, and then getting into the apologies and things that are um, important to the growth of a relationship. But we're still dealing with an Aquarius here. And so they are going to come in mad physical. Talking about how good you look, want to lay up with you, get all next to you, absolutely positively here. But they still want to have a serious conversation. It's not all physical, but that's nice. Some, somebody's upset about how things happen. Somebody's upset that the friendship between you and this person was affected by what happened in the past. Oh, Excuse me, their selfishness. Ooh. That sounds about right. The selfishness. This person thinking about themselves, but also the entertaining the other options. 
not knowing exactly what they wanted. But this some this is somebody who's eliminated the competition from this from the situation. There is no confusion. There is no chaos. There is no people in the middle. Somebody's matured while they've been separate from you. And the focus has been on the good times. I don't believe that people change for people. That's ridiculous. People change because they want to. But here you see somebody's, as they've been making changes, thinking about the time that they spent with you. Like you left a you left a very big impact on this particular person here. Um, especially when things went sour between you and this person and they knew that you were very much obsessed with them. And I feel like this obsession was vice versa, but obsessed with them. And the way that you move when there was a falling out, even when they may have been acting shady, the fact that you didn't rat them out or tell their secrets, expose this person. That you didn't expose this person. Call them out, put them on blast. It really impressed this person. It really impressed this individual. And then there's that feeling of knowing that they were safe with you. This is somebody who has waited until they were ready, till they had it all together to approach you about rekindling this situation. And again, looking at this world here, this person reaching out over the internet. But I also feel like this is somebody who's very well-traveled. Shout out to my watchers in South America. But yeah, tall. And you come off as very, this person feels safe with you. This is somebody, again, who's gotten themselves together, is balanced, and has had a major, has had a major change in perspective. There's been a lot of clarity since there's been this separation between you and this person, and they are coming and talking about a commitment. Talking about a commitment and making it very clear that there's no one in the background, that there are no secrets. They're not hiding anything. Who's this Aquarius Pisces Cusper? Yeah. They're, this is somebody who's been trying to make their way back to you. You may not have heard from this person in a long time because they knew they couldn't come back at you crazy, that they needed to, you know, mentally get it back together. Capricorn, drop this Aquarius's birthday down below. Let me know it resonated and hit the like button. And we are on the last one. We are on Pisces. Pisces, we'll go back to the water. Okay. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All right, what is going on with Capricorn and this Pisces individual? Magician and the Justice card. Oh, lots of major arcana. There's a lot going on here. Judgment, Justice, the Hermit, the Four of Wands, the Three of Knives, the Five of Swords, and the King of Water. The Cancer energy. Notice the crabs in the Father, the baskets in the boat. I feel like there's a Pisces person that is going through a little bit of a struggle here. And to be specific, this is a Pisces that is very manipulative. The tables have turned. Who is this Pisces that cannot be alone? Cannot be alone, is always in a relationship here, is, is really making their way back. They want to talk. They want to rekindle this situation. That's very clear. They're tired of the separation. I also feel like there's um. I feel like there's been a long term separation here. That when this person approaches you about rekindling this relationship, because we see that somebody wants to talk here. 
It's shocking. It's almost as if you never expected to hear from this person again. Again, because there was a major falling out here. I'm almost wondering if there wasn't a legal situation here with this Dr. Buzzard in which you fell out with this person. Again, because they were very manipulative or because of the things that they were saying and doing, the strings that they were pulling, the strings that they were pulling in the background. Like somebody really play, playing puppet master behind the scenes. You see the king water here with the seven of baskets. And then Gemini here with the fool. I feel like this was somebody being particularly reckless and not considering the consequences of their actions. I also feel like with a certain level of recklessness that this person walked away from you more than you walked away from them. That it was part of them being embarrassed about some of their actions, their childish ways that caused them to separate themselves from you. Focusing on other things, other people, and really other people. What Anytime I see the hermit in reverse, it screams to me that somebody is not independent. They need other people. And again, the energy of somebody pulling the strings here in the background and wanting to rekindle a relationship and talk a situation out. This is somebody who understands. I want to say that they betrayed you. But I'm not necessarily sure if it's a, a whole full-blown betrayal or if somebody just kind of did you wrong. The Son of Baskets, Ace of Cups. Oh, here we go. No, okay, somebody did you wrong. This is a betrayal here. With the, This is totally the rug being pulled out from underneath someone and having somebody in the middle of something they were unaware of. The Puppet Master. It also gives me the vibes when I when I think of puppet, I think Pinocchio. Please drop the Pinocchio emoji with the long nose. So this lying Pisces, very messy, that's embarrassed themselves is wanting to come back around and talk. Notice I didn't say apology. They want to talk about. Re I'm about to get sick to my stomach now. They want to talk about rekindling this relationship and specifically, let's start over. Leave the past in the past. Let's just act like that didn't happen. Okay. Okay. Um, again, no apology. What we don't see, what we don't see here is somebody, the Empress, honey, they're not apologizing for talking stuff. They're not, when I tell you that they're not about to apologize for what happened in the past, this mess that they started, they're not, you can absolutely forget about that. Um, and that has to do with there's too many people to clean up the situation. They understand that they're the root of this chaos and this problem. And the only way to fix it is to admit that, you know, they're the part of the problem. But how are you going to admit this to the same people that helped you break down the situation with you and between you and them? And then there's this. See, this big queen energy is kind of throwing me that this could be a woman that's pulling the strings here in the background because that's what it's really leading. Is that there's, there's a Pisces woman that's highly problematic here. But I'm also wondering if somebody wasn't embarrassed about the fact that they trashed you to this person that they were in a committed relationship with, whether they were male or female, that somebody may have been in a commitment 
lying, pulling the strings here in the background. See, it's the, did you not know that this person was married or committed? And then you were put on front street or exposed and made to seem like you were the crazy person or all in and they didn't know what was going on. Something to that effect. Yeah, it's the courting and the big queen that makes it, there were two separate situations going on. Somebody being a manipulator and pulling the strings, they can't clean it up because to clean it up would make it look like what it is. They got a problem. They're a liar. They're very focused on their looks, lust, and getting whatever it is that they want. We see this is a person of action, so they're willing to show you that they want you back, right? But they're not about to apologize. They're not about to clean nothing up. It seems like somebody's very ego-driven, but you already know that from your history with this person. I also get with this chicken here in this four of coins that somebody's just very scary. Like, they, like they're... You know, a chicken, you know what, right? They want to extend this olive branch, but do they would rather give you things that you want, right? Bring you gifts, do these nice things for you. But I, I want you to understand, this person is not coming in with an apology. Shout out to those of you dealing with the Pisces, Aquarius, Cusper here with the grandchildren. But uh, yeah. I also feel with the grandchildren, somebody's too old for these little games that they're playing. They want to talk, rekindle this relationship, but they're not about to apologize and they're not about to clean anything up. It's one of those things that if you allow this person back, you're just telling this person that um, you accept their behavior or you're, you're just letting it go. The nine. How can you trust somebody who played with your emotions so much that they pulled you into a situation where they embarrassed you? Embarrassed themselves. Again, where they got caught. This speaks to evidence and proof here, Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is somebody married. In a serious commit. Right. The text message is trying to make you look crazy. It's giving bold. It's giving somebody who's very lust driven. Leo energy with this strength. Yeah, absolutely. It's I feel like it's gonna it's taken not just a lot for this person to reach out to you because they know that they're wrong, but it's also very bold of them to approach you in such a way, knowing that they're not going to apologize, knowing that they're not going to fix a situation that has affected you greatly. And notice all of these knives. And it really speaks to somebody hitting you in all of your soft spots. This person is very emotionally dangerous. Yeah, it's over. I feel like a situation is, well, dead, um, over with, done, um, finished. D again, due to this person's inability to change, but it also, I feel like you're not in the same place. And the situation is too high risk to just, to just move forward with this person, even if they are trying to throw everything at you, giving you everything that you want, trying to wine and dine, you make up for things. The overall energy is, it's in your best interest to, to keep your distance. Ah, to keep your distance because they will try to embarrass you again. It's that once bitten, twice shy, or once somebody shows you who you are, who they, excuse me, who they are, you better believe them. You better believe them. And the power and control, the ego issues, the being salty, angry, bitter, jealous, Notice we see, again, the rest in peace. We've already seen the ancestor. It's over. They got the wrong one. I'll never look at this card the same again. They got the wrong one, and that's that's why it's over. They thought they could play you. They, they really thought that they could play you, and now th there's no way. There's no way you would let this person creep back into your situation. Capricorn, that is the last reading. Thank you all so much for your patience for allowing me to do this recorded as, as opposed to live because I just can't do it live and have everything looked the way that it does. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for everybody's continued support. Please hit the like button, subscribe, check out my other videos. Have an amazing Easter because I don't think I'm not going to put out any content tomorrow. Check out some of my older videos. I'll have new content coming out on Monday. And Capricorns, Cross Watchers, everyone, again, thank you so much for your support. My members that are watching, thank you to those of you, I, I, even though I canceled that, but um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great night. Like, subscribe. Let me know where you're watching from. And family, I'll be tapping with you very soon. Keep it real. Hey, mama.